Okay, how you doing? Um, not feeling my best, but it's your girl, Ladessa. L to the, D to the, L to the, D to the, L to the, D to the, Ladessa. What's good? So I'm in the airport headed to see the fam bam for the Christmas season. Um, I am traveling alone. New Year, New Me, episode Cinco. And uh, I had a wonderful, wonderful conversation with my girl Lulu from Aging Gorgeously, um, my girl Lily from Gadget Lily, and then a friend that you don't know. And it was a resounding um, get to work. You got things to do. And um, a get out of your own way. So that is the title of this video. I am getting out of my own way. And I had never heard that term before um, prior to watching an interview of Mary J. Blige when she had like sunk really low. And <coughs> Excuse me, she, she was saying that she, is, she was at like a really low point in her life and Shaka Khan had told her that she needs to get out of her own way. And basically what that meant was you have what it takes, but your doubt your insecurity, your all of that is in your own way. So that's what I'm doing. And getting out of my own way means that um, I recognize my faults and confront them head on. And so I was talking to um, a Lily of Gadget Lily and Lulu and they both, I'm like, okay, let me make sure I'm phrasing this right they both were like okay so you're in this space and I know that you're hurt but I see this in you and I told Lily I was like you need to be my manager and Lulu would be like my life coach because she like look I understand you crying and all that but I'm gonna need you to turn that camera on pull them pallets out and get to YouTube so you know when you're in those spaces where you're like woe is me you need somebody to put that battery in your back and then when I was talking to my other homegirl she had watched my last video where um, I was talking about product placement you know moving my heart from down there to where it's supposed to be so it's closer to my head and she had pointed out something that I had said that was a little bit um, disrespectful she she received it as disrespectful because she knows a lot more of my life and my placements in life than some of you all. And she was like, well, when you said X, Y, and Z, that really made me feel some kind of way. And so that made me go back and look at the video. And then I was like, well, can you go watch the video again and look for context? And the context was here, but it didn't come out here. So um, one of the things that um, was really a problem for me was the person that I was with, their um, financial status or their ability to um, either meet me, match me, or exceed me financially. And so that was always a problem for me because I was like, well, I hope you can hear me over the lady talking. Um, well, a man is supposed to be um, a provider. And so if um, he can't do X, Y, and Z with his money, then what am I messing with him for? And that had got in my way a lot. And it made me miss out on some really wonderful, loving opportunities. When prior to that, I had always been taking care of myself. Like I paid my own bills, I got my own brakes fixed, I took my own car to the Five Stone for new tires or to the Midas for the oil change and all of that. And so if you meet somebody and you have an opportunity to be in a relationship with somebody and they're, bring, they're able to bring better to your life and it's not tied to finances, is that such a bad thing? Um, and where I'm at now, it's, it's, it's still, there's still some level of importance to me, 
but it doesn't hold as much weight as it used to. I mean, if somebody is getting up and going to work every day and taking care of their business, their station in life doesn't necessarily speak to laziness or their lack of go get it or, um, you know, um, them settling or resting on their laurels. It just could possibly be their placement in life or, you know, come on, let's speak the real opportunity. You know, opportunity is not always um, available to all of us. So um, that having that conversation with my friend really helped me gain some perspective and then moving in situations where I thought money was so important but I was so miserable also opened up my eyes so you know I can take care of myself but I need you know maybe um whether it be like a man relationship or a friendship or even a working relationship if it's a situation that makes me better that's what's most important and so getting that um that mindset out of out of my way is really going to take me far in this station that I'm in in life and so as I travel to go see my family my parents and my kids and my grandkids for the first time in six years going to spend Christmas alone that is what's on my mind this trip is enjoying my family and um, either journaling or YouTubing and um, discovering those things where I've gotten in my own way. So, Lulu, I heard you. Lily, I heard you. Kina, I heard you. I'm getting out of my own way. And um, I just appreciate, I just appreciate the love and support of the people that um, are not saying those standard phrases, but are really like digging in my craw and requiring me to get it together like they're providing me with the space to have those sad moments or um cry moments or whatever moments but okay so after you've cried your last cry of the day or of the hour then what so i'm most definitely um blessed for that and then like my best friend um, she's just been a wonderful ear for me and um, she's helped me recognize um, my, my worth. I mean, I know my worth, but sometimes you cower um, under that or, or what you think or what society has told you should, you should be or whatever. And what I mean by that is um, this week I had to do my selfie vow for work. And I kept hemming and hawing, like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then finally my boss was like, or not my boss, my manager. <laughs> my manager was like, hey, um, I'm going to need you to, you know, chop, chop. It's already late. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. And he was like, either today or tomorrow. So, you know, tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. But I, I bigged myself up. I didn't. Oh, yeah, you're good. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me move my bag out the way. Um, I really big myself up like I did the damn thing this year at work like I really excelled um, this was the year that um, of work or experience in my role where I really like shine and even in those moments where I didn't want to shine I was shining and so when I had to do myself um, my self evaluation I was like no I did this this and this and you recognized it and I appreciate it and though I um, may not be um, in a space where I want to take on um, a, um, the next level of opportunity, but my supervisor recognized that I have what it takes to do it. And so I just kind of want to gain a little bit more knowledge um, in the role that I'm in and in the um, the uh, career path that I'm in or the what's the best way? to describe it um in the um god I'm, I'm my brain is freezing up but in the um I don't know how to describe it but basically what it is that I do excuse me 
I want to learn a bit more about like rules and regulations and things like that and compliance and things like that before I take that next step. But the fact that he recognized that I have what it takes and he was concerned that I might leave my role to go do something else, that, that, like, that made me feel good. And I didn't, um, you know, we have to mark yourself. And I stayed away from that basis, that base level of successful like I was successful no I was outstanding and in some areas I was exceptional and I didn't shy away from that so Kiana I thank you so much for that for just putting that battery in my back and helping me recognize who I am what my capacity is what my my learned status is and um, you know operating in that and that I have what it takes to impart into other people um, what it is to be successful in this role so I am getting out of my own way in areas like that so anyway as you know all of my ladies from aging gorgeously and beauty youtuber growth group are in the description box description box please check them out um, subscribe to their channels um, hang out with them and get some beauty tips or, you know see what new eyeshadows are out or what foundations are out or what skincare is out and support them like you're supporting me please like and subscribe share tell a friend to tell a friend and uh, always remember to pack light because bag lady bag man you and me too <laughs> we've been traveling along a long day you you and me too gonna hurt our backs dragging all them bags like that i will see you on the next one bye have a wonderful 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 holiday season if you believe in jesus merry christmas merry christmas and um my next video i'm going to be putting on some makeup but i just wanted to share this moment with you all right i'll see you on the next one bye